Well, hey guys, uh, I just accidentally erased the uh, IKEA start video. Um, my bad, but anyway, I went to IKEA today. And there's a few boxes over there, a bunch of boxes over there. It's got one cabinet here put together and two others over here put together. Um, Jennifer is banned from the bus, so she can't come out and, and peek or anything like that. So I've got three of them together. Got one more of the base cabinets to put together. Sink one's going there, and then there's going to be an end cabinet one where this, ironically enough, IKEA lamp is. Which they discontinued. I'm kind of bummed. I was going to get a new one. Anyhow, so that's that. Um, talk to you guys later. Four bottom cabinets uh, taken care of, put together. Um, I've got to put this strip up, which is part of the IKEA system for hanging the cabinets. Uh, they utilize it for both the bottom, the base, and the upper cabinets. Um, so I've got to put in another piece of wood as a backer. I was a little off on my measurements when I initially did this. Um, I actually went to counter countertop height, but uh, it um, this gets mounted below countertop height. So no biggie. I got another. I got one piece up already. I'm gonna pop. Get the measurement on this one, cut it, pop it up, and then determine uh, the height. I believe it's 30 and 3 sixteenths up from the floor. And uh, I'm going to go from there. All right. I've got the bottom cabinets in. Got to do a little bit of tweaking, leveling, and squaring, and all that stuff. But uh, they look pretty good. I think I think they look pretty good um, my measurements came out perfect as far as the floor goes it goes right to the edge You'll still be able to see the floor underneath and the legs I like that look also from the front um, so yeah looking pretty good I'm pretty stoked uh, I'm gonna start doing some measurements as to where the stove is gonna go in um, I am going to have to drill a hole for a propane line to come up. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, not sure if this is Pilot or not. I guess I should have looked into that before I bought it. Um, if not, I'm going to have to get uh, 12 volts to that as well, the stove. I just uh, finished the cabinets. I still have to adjust the drawers and everything. And I surprised Jennifer. And what do you think, babe? I am in love. You don't even have to close it. Check it out. Okay, let it go. Wow. Oh, I love it, baby. Soft close. You are amazing. So, I thought it looked pretty good. This is oh my God. this is all smoked glass. So I have lights that are going to go inside, so you'll be able to illuminate everything. And then there's a real cool detail on the edge. And I have to do a little bit with the stove try to make that finished off but uh, I think it'll be good wow this is incredible all right guys well there's the uh, cabinets lit at night and you got the underneath and then you've also got uh, all the lights up above and I put the redwood up and I think it looks pretty good and got a piece of uh, laminated plywood um, right now I'm gonna have to make a temporary countertop I'll probably seal that with some uh, something just for the temporary so that we have something that we can use as a countertop until we come up with something else um, i also picked up a door for the pocket door that is going to be white with uh, smoked or not smoked glass uh, frosted glass uh, that's going to go in here and that's got to be cut down a little bit because my door is a little bit shorter than 80 inches um, and then i also got a shower door 
Uh, and that's right here. We took the other one back because the other one was like a three-part process and it was crazy. So this one was one purchase. It was the price of part number one of the other door. And I think I would have needed another hundred bucks for the framing on the other one and 50 bucks for the hinges or something. So but it came out to almost 300 bucks. And uh, I can use a curtain for that matter. Anyway, okay, well, that's what we got. I'm going to trim this and fit this in so that it's a little snug. Uh, snug. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, that should be good for the temporary anyway. All right, guys. I'll talk to you. Bye.